When I was a kid, I was always really curious about how things worked. And that's why I wanted to be an engineer, because I didn't want to just figure out how they worked, but I wanted to be the person that designed and built things. And with chemical engineering, I am able to do that in the energy space. It's so critical for everything we do in our lives. I'd like to see a day where the vast majority of the fuels that we're producing are low carbon and renewable. So I'm working here at Chevron to turn vegetable oil like soy into renewable diesel fuel that you can use to power cars and trucks. One of the things that's so exciting about renewable diesel is that it has a 50% CO2 emissions reduction relative to fossil, but it runs in the cars and trucks that are already on the road. We make renewable diesel from renewable feedstocks. We use soybean oil, canola oil, waste greases, used cooking oil. What's really cool about this fuel is that we can use the infrastructure that we already have, the pipelines, the terminals, the gas stations that already exist, and just distribute a low carbon fuel. We acquired a renewables fuels company, which is expected to accelerate Chevron's progress toward our goal of 100,000 barrels per day of renewables capacity by 2030. Renewables are a key part of what we do at Chevron now, and they're going to remain that way into the future. You know, my two favorite things to do outside of work are skiing and surfing, and when you're in nature like that, you really feel connected and at one with the planet. A lower carbon future means that future generations are gonna be able to experience the power of a wave in the same way that we do today.